Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here and welcome back to another FWTR video. Alright, so we are doing Friday's Guild Raid again. And since the last one that I did, the Muzaka versus Jack, uh, who is a better tank for Friday's Guild Raid? Many of you uh, commented that Churyok is actually better than both of them. Uh, because, not in terms of damage, but in terms of protecting the allies and actually uh, giving them defense and such. So with that being said, we're gonna have to try it out but for ourselves before we give it a fair judgment. Alright, so everything here, swap the Churyok. Let's find for the Churyok guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam! Alright, so same goes for the runes. Muzaka's rune, uh, 1089, 1.3% 1 HP, 5% counter rate. Chiriok, where are you? 1089, 1.3% 1 HP, wait, was it this one? Hmm, which one is better? I think my current my current Churyok's one is better. We're gonna keep that. Alright, uh, it doesn't have to be the exact perfect uh, rune. <laughs> like, let's just use these items. At least the items are the same. The runes are slightly different. Oh no, our mastery is a bit low. Is there a way for us to swap it around? Nah, it's fine. So let's have a look at the auto skill. Which one should we turn off? Which one should we turn on? Churyok. Double attack. We don't really need that. Man, why is it so small? Discharges energy, taking... Oh my god, it's too small. I need to... I need to read it here. Alright, inflicting 145% damage on all enemies within range. Churyok's chance of winning attack. Increase by 30%, also cast energy marks on all targets with range for 3 turns. Allies who already have an energy mark on them, this skill casts a shield that lasts for 3 turns and decrease all skill damage by 25% once. Alright, sounds pretty broken. And this one sounds pretty broken as well. The boss is gonna be there. So we can protect 3 allies. Alright, we are going to use uh him we are just we will just leave his we will just leave his uh skill to activate and just lock this skill one and we should be fine all right let's get started i'm gonna bring in the same mercenary nightfall all right so same thing as usual place yekka here Shushu there, Hong Yong here, Tanatos there, Churyok corner, Hong Yong here. Press OK. Alright, so we're gonna just leave it running and I'll be back when maybe when we reach turn 40 or so. So I'm just gonna leave it on with guilt shelling. So enjoy the music for now.
Alright, looks like we have uh, reached turn 49 and our score seems slightly less but if you notice the character's HP uh, they don't go down they don't go down as low as like 10% to 20% all of them seems to be at around 50 to 30% 30 to 50% so I guess Chiriok does help uh, everyone survive better oh can we can we kill the boss here if we can then we might be able to beat our score yes Oh my god, that's so close! That's so close! 290,000. Our previous high score with uh, Muzaka was 291,000. Alright. I mean 291 million and 290 million. So, I guess Cheriok is pretty good. Like, you, he does help everyone survive better. So I guess um, that allows me to adjust my gears a little bit. And I should be fine after some adjustments and making sure that everyone has higher attack instead of defense. That's it for the video guys. So I guess we can conclude that Chiriok uh, is as good as Muzaka if your characters uh, have difficulty surviving and some of them occasionally died within turn 45 or within turn 40, then Chiriok is a better option for you. But if all your heroes somehow have Devil's Knight or Slime King, then you might want to go with Muzaka instead. And it makes much more sense because when you give Lord Mastery, you're putting 15 points in uh, increased rock damage heroes. So definitely Muzaka is going to deal slightly more damage. Like, that's a no-brainer. But obviously, uh, not everyone has that kind of set items in their inventory. Not everyone has 4 or 5 sets of Devil Knight laying around so yeah overall uh, I would say for players who are new to the game and players who are starting out you might want to try out Cheriok on Friday's raid he should be able to help your other heroes to survive much better alright guys hope you find this video informative and if you do please give it a like you can share this thread with your friends with your guildmates with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one and feel free to share your thoughts and comment in the comment section down below. Alright, I'm signing out for now. Have a nice day. Goodbye.